Hello, I'm Alan, your host for today. Welcome to Newverse. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the realms of the natural world where master architects reside. These architects don't wield hammers or draft blueprints, but their constructions are nothing short of awe-inspiring. From the underwater kingdom of coral reefs to the forested landscapes dotted with dams and lodges, to the sky-high towers of the avian world, and the intricate silk tapestries of the arachnids. Yes, we're talking about the animal kingdom, the architects of nature. These creatures equipped with instinct and ingenuity create structures that serve as homes, traps, and even as a means of communication. So buckle up as we delve into the world of these fascinating architects of nature. Stay tuned for our next video where we will explore more wonders of the natural world. Did you know that the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest structure made by living organisms, was built by tiny coral polyps? Welcome to the fascinating world of animal architects. It's a world where creatures big and small construct structures of stunning complexity and beauty. They employ a blend of natural instinct and learned tactics using materials readily available in their environment. These structures, whether they are a cozy nest, an intricate web, a formidable mound or a sturdy dam, are a testament to the resourcefulness and adaptability of these animals. Let's begin with beavers, the engineers of the animal kingdom, known for their architectural prowess in building dams and lodges. Then we'll explore the fascinating world of termites who design and construct complex mounds that are marvels of natural engineering. We'll also take flight with birds, the nest weavers of the sky, from the delicate tiny nests of hummingbirds to the massive communal nests of sociable weavers. These avian architects create safe and secure homes for their offspring. And let's not forget the spiders, the web designers of the natural world. Their silk webs, Often seen shimmering in the morning dew are not just beautiful to behold, but also serve a deadly function, ensnaring unsuspecting prey. In each case, these animal architects showcase an incredible blend of instinct, skill and ingenuity. They transform their environment to meet their needs, whether it's for safety, raising offspring or catching prey. Their constructions are not just functional, but also often breathtakingly beautiful, adding a unique charm to our natural world. These animal architects remind us of the wonders of the natural world and the remarkable abilities of these creatures. They challenge our understanding of intelligence, creativity and adaptability and inspire us to look at the world with a renewed sense of awe and appreciation. Now let's dive deeper into the world of these amazing creatures, starting with nature's engineers, the beavers. The beaver, an unassuming rodent, is responsible for creating architectural marvels in the form of dams and lodges. These industrious creatures are the epitome of nature's engineers, felling trees and gathering branches with their sharp, chisel-like teeth. They select their building materials with the precision and discernment of a seasoned architect, choosing the perfect branches for their dams and lodges. But branches alone are not enough. The beaver is a master of utilizing available resources, combining these branches with mud and stones to create a sturdy structure. The process is laborious and requires careful placement of each component. The result is a dam or lodge that could rival any human-made structure in its ingenuity. These dams serve a twofold purpose. Firstly, they provide protection, a sanctuary from predators. With a network of underwater entrances leading to a cozy living area above the water's surface, the lodge becomes a safe haven for the beaver and its family. The dam, on the other hand, creates a deep and calm pond, a moat if you will, further deterring any potential threats. The second purpose is practicality. The beaver, a largely aquatic creature, needs easy access to food during the harsh winter months. The dammed water bodies serve as a storage where branches the beaver's primary food source are kept fresh and accessible even when the world outside is frozen and barren. The beaver's architectural prowess is not just a testament to its survival skills, but it also plays a significant role in shaping the environment. Beaver dams create wetlands, providing habitats for a variety of other species and contributing to biodiversity. They slow down the flow of water, reducing erosion and improving water quality by filtering out sediments and pollutants. So next time you see a dam, remember the master architect behind it, the humble beaver silently shaping its world with its architectural marvels. But our journey doesn't end here, let's move on to our next architect, the termite. 
termites, often associated with destruction, are in fact some of nature's most impressive builders. These small insects, usually less than an inch in length, are renowned for their ability to construct intricate mounds that tower over their tiny builders. But what makes these termite mounds so fascinating isn't just their size, it's the complexity of their design. You see, termite mounds are marvels of natural engineering. They are meticulously crafted using a combination of soil, termite saliva and dung. This unique blend of materials results in a strong and durable structure that can withstand the harsh elements of the outside world. But the ingenuity of termite mound construction doesn't stop there. Inside these mounds, termites have created an intricate labyrinth of tunnels and chambers. But these aren't just random pathways. Each serves a specific purpose in the colony's daily life. There are areas for food storage, nurseries for the young and even royal chambers where the queen resides. One remarkable feature of termite mounds is their ventilation system. Termites have mastered the art of natural air conditioning. The design of the mound allows for the circulation of air, maintaining a constant and comfortable temperature inside regardless of the external conditions. This is crucial as termites are highly sensitive to temperature changes and the success of the colony depends on this careful climate control. The purpose of these mounds extends beyond providing shelter. They are also a fortress, protecting the colony from predators and the elements. The hard exterior of the mound is difficult for predators to penetrate and its height keeps the termites safe from floods. So while termites may be small, their architectural prowess is immense. These mounds aren't just piles of dirt, they are meticulously designed fortresses, homes and climate control systems all in one. These tiny creatures with their complex and efficient mounds truly are nature's unsung architects. But let's turn our attention now to the sky and to our feathered friends. The world of animal architecture is vast and varied and we've only just scratched the surface. Birds with their intricate and diverse nests are the weavers of the animal kingdom. Their homes, crafted with precision and care, are a testament to the art of construction in the natural world. Each bird species creates a unique type of nest, designed to fit their specific needs and environment. From the simple platform nests of larger birds, like eagles and hawks, to the cosy cavity nests of woodpeckers and owls, the diversity is truly astonishing. These platform nests are often built high in the trees or on cliff edges, providing a vantage point and protection from ground-based predators. The cavity nests, on the other hand, offer shelter and concealment within tree trunks or rocky outcrops, but let's delve deeper into the world of the more intricate nest builders. Consider the weaver bird, aptly named for its ability to weave elaborate nests out of grass and twigs. These nests, hanging from tree branches, are a marvel of natural engineering, providing safety from predators and a comfortable space for raising their young. Then, there are the birds that take building materials to a whole new level. Swiftlets, for instance, construct their nests using their own saliva. These nests, once dried, are sturdy and waterproof, clinging to the sides of cave walls, safe from most predators. The materials used by these avian architects vary greatly from twigs and leaves to feathers and moss and even mud or stones. Some birds, like the bowerbird, go to the extent of decorating their nests with brightly colored objects to attract a mate. Each nest, a product of tireless work and ingenuity, serves a crucial purpose. To protect their eggs and chicks, providing a safe haven for the next generation. From a tiny hummingbird to a large eagle, each bird is an architect in its own right. But let's not forget one more incredible architect, the spider. Scene script. Last but not least, the spider, an architect and an artist known for its beautiful and purposeful web designs. In the grand scheme of animal architects, the spider stands out as a master builder. With nothing more than a supply of silk and a keen sense of geometry, spiders craft intricate webs that serve as both homes and hunting grounds. Let's delve into the marvel that is a spider's web. The substance that makes up these webs, spider silk, is a material marvel. It's stronger than steel, more elastic than rubber, and lighter than a feather. This silk is produced in the spider's abdomen and is released through spinnerets, tiny nozzles that allow the spider to control the thickness and type of silk it uses. The design of a spider's web is a feat of natural engineering. Each web begins as a single thread, which the spider uses as a bridge to traverse gaps and establish the web's anchor points. 
From there, the spider builds a framework of non-sticky silk before adding the final touch, a spiral of sticky capture silk. This spiral is the deadly trap that ensnares unsuspecting prey. The web's design is not just for show, it's strategic. The spiral pattern allows the spider to maximize its area of coverage, increasing the chances of capturing prey. Furthermore, the elasticity of the silk means that the web can absorb the impact of a flying insect without breaking. But a spider's web is not permanent. Some spiders rebuild their webs every day, consuming the old silk to reclaim its protein. This cycle of creation and destruction, of building and consuming, is as much a part of the spider's life as the web itself. Whether they are building to survive, to eat, or to protect their young, these animal architects are a testament to the wonders of nature. So get out there and appreciate the architectural marvels around us. And remember, each and every one of these species plays a vital role in our ecosystem and deserves our respect and protection.